So what I want to show you is some of the work that we've been doing as part of the Scripps Institution of Oceanography team. Um, we use advances in underwater imaging technology to map sections of the reef. We send dive teams down underwater and we capture images of a plot of a reef that's a quarter size of an NBA basketball court. So it's, it's rather big um, area and we capture about 5,000 images and we can merge those images together to create these 3D models. This technology is a really powerful tool because it gives us an opportunity to see how these different corals um, survive across space uh, throughout the Florida reef track. This site is being impacted by the stony coral tissue loss disease. And so you can actually see a healthy coral would have this brown tissue. And what we're seeing is you see these hot zones where the disease is kind of moving across the coral. It's synonymous with a wildfire going through a forest. This is active um, disease happening as we see it. So these large, massive corals that take a long time to grow that size and they live many, many years, seem to be more susceptible to this disease. That coral itself could be 500 years old. Being able to use this technology, we can get within you know, a couple millimeters to a centimeter. There's a minke whale found dead in San Diego. Uh, it's floating around, so uh, big question's been, how does a whale decompose? It's been there now, I think about seven years. We've been watching that, that decomposition. The red things in there are some of the fish that use it as shelter. And uh, this ability to create a three-dimensional model I is something is that... Fantastic.